Uniqlo Company, Ltd. is a Japanese casual wear designer, manufacturer and retailer. The company has been a wholly owned subsidiary of Fast Retailing Company, Ltd. since November 2005, and is listed in the first section of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. In addition to Japan, the company operates in Australia, Bangladesh, China, France, Germany, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Macau, Malaysia, the Philippines, Russia, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, the United Kingdom, and the United States. History, Origins in Japan Since March 1949, a Yamaguchi-based company, Ago Rishaji existed in Oop, Yamaguchi. In May 1984, they opened a unisex casual wear store in Fukuramaki, Nakaku, Hiroshima under the name Unique Clothing Warehouse. It was at this time that the name Uniqlo was born, as a contraction of Unique Clothing. In September 1991, the name of the company was changed from Ago Rishaji to Fast Retailing, and by April 1994, there were over 100 Uniqlo stores operating throughout Japan. Private Label Strategy in 1997, Fast Retailing adopted a set of strategies from American retailer The Gap, known as SPA, meaning that they would produce their own clothing and sell it exclusively. Uniqlo had begun outsourcing their clothing manufacturing to factories in China where labor was cheap, a well-established corporate practice. Japan was in the depths of a recession at the time, and the low-cost goods proved popular. Their advertising campaigns also proved fruitful. In November 1998, they opened their first urban Uniqlo store in Tokyo Euro unregistered trademark S Trendy Harajuku district, and that led soon spread to major cities throughout Japan. In 2001, sales turnover and gross profit reached a new peak, with over 500 retail stores in Japan. When Uniqlo decided to expand overseas, it separated Uniqlo from the parent company and established Fast Retailing Apparel Company. Limited in China. In 2002 their first Chinese Uniqlo outlet was opened in Shanghai along with four overseas outlets in London, England. But sales did not go well in England, and stocks in Japanese warehouses were overflowing. In 2002 and 2003, Uniqlo profits dropped sharply. In 2004, the company began joint ventures with Japanese fashion magazines, and hired such celebrities as Noriko Fujiwara to appear in commercials. They teamed up with new designers, and profits rose, including at London outlets. The acquisition of other fashion companies by fast retailing also helped the struggling company get back on its feet. 2005 saw more overseas expansion, with stores opening in the United States, Hong Kong and South Korea, their South Korean expansion being part of a joint venture with Lotte. As of year-end 2005, in addition to its overseas holdings, Uniqlo had around 700 stores within Japan. By 2006 sales were $4 billion. By April 2007, the company had set a global sales goal of $10 billion and a ranking among the top five global retailers, joining what at the time was Gap, H&M, Inditex, and Limited Brands. Fast Retailing signed a design consulting contract for Uniqlo products with fashion designer Jill Sander in March 2009. Shaozi Chen has been approached by Uniqlo to produce a capsule collection of ready-to-wear pieces to launch in November 2010 while Asia's largest Uniqlo store outside Japan opened its doors in Kuala Lumpur in the same month. Sporting Events Uniqlo furnished the uniforms for Japan's Olympic athletes in the 1998, 2002, and 2004 Olympic Games, as well as the uniforms for J-League's Thespikizatsu team. Current number one player in the World Golf Ranking Adam Scott wore Uniqlo when he won the 2013 Masters at Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, USA. Current number two ATP tennis player Novak Djokovic also wore Uniqlo shirts and shorts at the French Open, Wimbledon, US Open, and Australian Open as does Japanese No. 1 Kari Nishikari. 2020 Goals On September 2, 2009, Fast Retailing Company, Ltd. announced that the company would target annual group sales of 5 trillion yen and pre-tax profit from operations of 1 trillion yen by 2020. 
This means that the company is aiming to become the world a Euro unregistered trademark s biggest speciality retailer of private label apparel with a continuous growth rate of 20% per year. A figure breaks down as 1 trillion yen from Uniqlo Euro unregistered trademark s Japan business, 3 trillion yen from its international business, and 1 trillion yen from Japan related and global brand business. The Campania Euro unregistered trademark s international business target breaks down as 1 trillion yen in China, 1 trillion in other Asian countries and 1 trillion in Europe and the United States. Worldwide Stores, United States In 2005, Uniqlo launched in the U.S. market by quietly opening three more stores in New Jersey, Menlo Park, Rockaway Town Square, and Freehold Raceway. In November 2006, Uniqlo opened its first flagship store in the Soho Fashion District of Manhattan, New York City. New fashion designers have joined the store's team to boost and rebirth fashion concepts catering to the U.S. market. The opening of the Manhattan store was followed in September 2007 by the closing of Uniqlo's three New Jersey locations, leaving the count of North American stores at one. In October 2011, Uniqlo opened its second and third flagship locations on Fifth Avenue and 34th Street near Herald Square in New York City. On September 28, 2012 Uniqlo has opened its largest mall store worldwide in New Jersey's Garden State Plaza Mall, serving as the flagship for all of the future mall locations of the retailer. Uniqlo has announced a desire to open up to 200 stores, located in every major U.S. city, it has a goal of reaching $10 billion in North American sales by 2020. Its first West Coast flagship store, opened in October 2012 on Powell Street in San Francisco's Union Square. In January 2014, Uniqlo announced it would open an additional five new stores in the United States for the spring and summer of 2014, with further new locations being planned for the fall for Boston, King of Prussia Mall, downtown Philadelphia and the Los Angeles Southern California region. The first of five Southern California locations will open at South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa on September 3, 2014. France In December 2007, Uniqlo opened its first store in France in La Da Copyright Fence. On October 1, 2009, a flagship store opened in Paris close to the OPA Copyright RA. Bangladesh Uniqlo will be debuting their first store at the Jamuna Future Park shopping complex in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Singapore, Uniqlo had 18 outlets in Singapore as of December 2013. They are part of a franchise owned by Wing Thai Holdings. Locations include, Tampines 1, Ion Orchard, 313 at Somerset, Virvo City, Causeway Point, Parkway Parade, Bigis Plus, Plaza Sinapra, Chinatown Point, City Square Mall, Chem, Sunk City Mall, Liang Court, Bidok Mall, Kent Ridge and UH, Chinji Airport Terminal 2, 1 Raffles Place, Kalang Wave, Selata Mall, East Point Mall, Ju Kun Mall, Basia Laba Complex, Waterway Point, Malaysia, Uniqlo made their debut in Malaysia at Fahrenheit 88, Kuala Lumpur in November 2010. Uniqlo currently has 21 stores in Malaysia, located in Klang Valley, Penang, Malacca, Pahang and Jawa. Locations include, Fahrenheit 88, Kuala Lumpur, Surya KLCC, Kuala Lumpur, One Utama, Old Wing, Shopping Center, Banda Utama Damansra, Petaling Jaya, Sesha City Mall, Sesha Alam, Shah Alam, Mid Valley Megamall, Kuala Lumpur, Sunway Pyramid, Banda Sunway, Paradigm Mall, Klerna Jaya, Petalin Jawa, Quiens Bay Mall, Bayan Lepus, Pulau Pinang, Gurney Plaza, Pesayaran Gurney, Pulau Pinang, Alamanda, Padraja, Sogo, Kuala Lumpur, The Mines, Siri Kembangan, Bejaya Times Square, Kuala Lumpur, Datta and Pelor and Melaka Megamal Malaka opened on December 13, 2013, Cheras Central, Cheras, Opened on January 24, 2014, Main Place, opened on March 28, 2014, New Central, opened on May 15, 2014, Jabaru City Square, opened on May 15, 2014, East Coast Mall, opened on July 4, 2014, 
Eon Bikit Matajam, opening on July 11, 2014, KLIA2, Thailand, Uniqlo opened its first store at Central World, Bangkok on September 9, 2011. The store is Uniqlo's largest in Southeast Asia, with retail space of approximately 2,700 square meters. There are currently 18 stores in Thailand. 11 stores in Bangkok and 7 stores across Thailand in major cities including the 3 stores in Chiang Mai, Pattaya, Haitia, Koh Samui and Phuket. There are also a stores to be opened soon, 3 in Bangkok, 1 in Riong, 1 in Phuket, 1 in Nakhon Ratchasima and 1 in Surat Thani. New stores location includes, Sikhan Square, Central Plaza Salaya, Central Plaza Surat Thani, Central Plaza Rayong, Central West Gate, Central Festival Phuket, the Mal Korat, Philippines. Uniqlo opened its first branch in the Philippines on June 15, 2012 at the SM Mall of Asia. On the same year, Uniqlo also opened their second branch at the country's second largest shopping mall, the SM City North EDSA. The opening of its second store serves as a fitting follow-up to the very successful opening of Uniqlo's first store in the Philippines on June 2012 at the Mall of Asia. Uniqlo has already opened its third store at the SM Aura Premier and its fourth store at the SM City Pampanga. On June 2013 Uniqlo had opened two new stores a Euro SM City Fairview on June 14 and Glorieta on June 28. The Glorietta store opening marks Uniqlo Euro unregistered trademark S first anniversary in the Philippines. The SM City BF Para Plus or Minus A and SM City Clark branch is opened in November 30, 2013. The last branch to open on that year is the SM City Das Maria Plus or Minus S branch, opened on December 6, 2013. The SM Lanang Premier branch will be the first store in Mindanao and will open on January 31, 2014. On May 9, 2014, Uniqlo will open in Kauaian, Isabela as one of the anchor tenants of SM City Kauaian. Uniqlo will also open on SM City Bakulod's new annex building on September 2014. Katsumi Kubota, managing director of Uniqlo in the Philippines, says the brand plans to open at least 50 stores in the country by 2015 with 30 to 40 of those stores to be strategically located in Metro Manila. South Korea, in November 2011, Uniqlo generated more than 2 billion won in one day a Euro unregistered trademark S sales on November 11 when it opened Isia Euro unregistered trademark S largest flagship store in central Seoul. The sales figure was the highest ever set by a fashion outlet in Korea. 93 market spreads around Korea in 2013. Greater China, China. As of July 2013, there were 211 stores in China, including in Beijing, Guangzhou, Chongqing, Xiong'e, Nanjing, Ningbo, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Shijia, Tianjin and Xi'an. In May 2011, the magazine Shukan Bun Shun published a story alleging that Uniqlo had forced employees at its stores and factories in China to work long hours for little pay. In response, Uniqlo sued the weekly's publisher, Bun Jishun Jia, for a 220 million yen for libel. The lawsuit is pending. Hong Kong, there are 16 stores in Hong Kong. Locations include, New Town Plaza, APM, Plaza Hollywood, Harbour City, Festival Walk, Sunshine City Plaza and Seat Walk. Taiwan, Uniqlo opened in Taipei on October 7, 2010, with the opening of the Hankia department store, which was followed by rapid expansion throughout the country in the debut of a flagship store in 2011. As a part of an aggressive expansion strategy, Uniqlo has established storefronts in cities such as Kuohsiung, Tainan, Taichung, and Hsinchu. United Kingdom there are currently 10 stores in the UK, 9 of which are located in Greater London. The remaining store is located at Blue Waiter, Kent. Indonesia, there are currently 4 stores in Indonesia, Lotte Shopping Avenue, Malte Manangrik, Malkelapa Gading 3, and Summerek and Malserpong 2, Australia. Their first store opened on April 16, 2014 at Emporium Melbourne, Melbourne CBD, Germany. Their German flagship store opened in April 11, 2014 at Torntzienstranor, 
Berlin. Notable projects, Designers Invitation, the Uniqlo Designers Invitation project saw the invitation of women's wear designers Philip Lim, Alice Rowe, Tina Lutz and Marcia Patmos of Lutz and Patmos, Alpa, and GVGV. And many Euro unregistered trademark S wear designers Halb, Satoru Tanaka, and Alexander Plokhov have cloaked to each design capsule collections of eight looks for spring summer 2007. Four additional designers' labels were asked for the 2009 Designers Invitation project. Women's wear saw boutique owner Stephen Allen and Shipley and Halmos, while men's wear include Opening Ceremony and Gilded Age. In October 2012, Uniqlo has teamed up with French label Comptoy des Cotonniers to create a light down formula jacket inspired by the iconic boxy cut style fusing French fashion and Japanese technology. We wanted to use an easy sophisticated shape perfect for all elements of a women's lifestyle. Said Comptoy style director Delphine Ninas, T-shirt convenience store, a store concept called UT Project, a futuristic convenience store for T-shirts, was launched on April 28, 2007 in Harajuku, Tokyo. Each T-shirt style is displayed on forms in stainless steel display cases, with individual T-shirts packaged in clear plastic canisters resembling tennis ball cans. The T-shirts are stored on open shelves, making the shopping experience virtually self-service. The project featured a limited edition collection of T-shirts designed by renowned artists, designers, photographers and musicians including Terry Richardson, Nobu Yoshi Araki, Bjorn Copeland of Black Dice, Kim Jones, Peter Saville, Gareth Pugh. Uniclock, Uniclock, a web-based flash widget as well as downloadable screensaver combination of music dance clock, was launched on June 15, 2007. Season 1 features four girls auditioned from YouTube wearing Uniqlo's 20-color dry polo shirt, dancing freestyles similar to ballet, with background music composed by Fantastic Plastic Machine. Blog parts were flash components provided so that Uniqlo can be inserted into individual blog pages. Uniqlo soon gained popularity, as shown in its World Uniqlo page. Until November 2008 there were up to 191 million clicks from over 200 countries, with up to 40,000 blog parts in 88 countries. Uniqlo Season 2, launched in November 2007, featured Kashimir knits, with the same dancers, dance style, as well background. The movie quality was improved, and dancers would appear to be asleep if the time in the specified region is nighttime. Also in each hour special clips would be shown instead. Season 2 features two men playing music, doing clean-up chores. In Season 3 20 color t-shirt promotion, four new dancers were introduced in addition to the original four, switched by hour. On August 31, 2009, Season 6 premiered in the new setting of Paris, France. The clock's time was also changed to display the time in Paris. Grameen Uniqlo, in 2010, Uniqlo partnered with Grameen Healthcare Trust in Bangladesh to promote social businesses. The social businesses are aimed to address issues of poverty, illiteracy and poor sanitation, by selling clothes that the poor can afford, with profits invested in these businesses. Within three years, the goal of this initiative is to create 1,500 jobs and have a total of 1 million units of production and sales. Farrell Williams Capsule Collection Farrell Williams released a collection for Uniqlo in April 2014 entitled I Mother. It was created with Nigo Creative Director of UT, the company's T-shirt division. Awards The German fashion designer Jill Sander, appreciated for her minimalist aesthetic, joined the Uniqlo in 2009, and was appointed Creative Director of the brands Menswear and Womenswear, as well as launching a new label. Plus J Collection, which won 2011 Brit Insurance Design Fashion Award. Sander sees a thrill in offering a utopian ideal of high-quality clothing to the masses. I like the concept of basic clothes in a democratic world, she said. Uniqlo reminds me of Apple computers. Fantastic design for everyone. And I like what is Japanese about Uniqlo, a strong sense of tradition, the orderly approach to everything great know-how and logistics. Store count, references.
External links, Japanese, Uniqlo official website, English, Uniqlo UK official website, English, Uniqlo USA official website, Uniqlo UT project, Uniqlo Philippines official website, Uniqlo Singapore official website, Uniqlo Indonesia official website.